All right. Uh, there was one thing I didn't show you on the logic dart, which is kind of a kind of a cute marketing thing, but really really nice, I think. Um, inside the uh, inside the package here, you get a, a quick start guide. Um, they call it the five minute tutorial for the logic dart, and uh, nice little color thing here it folds out. Um, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Uh, so it has 12 different, uh, 12 different things you have to do in, in five minutes. So let's do that. Um, so number one, prepare for use. Uh, just tells you how to uh, plug in the uh, plug in the probe. So we've done that. Uh, number two is turn on. Uh, all right. Number three is the demo pin. Now um, it has this funny little thing on the guy's hand. It looks like a, one of these meters, but actually. Um, the device uh, comes with this. <laughs> uh, this cute little cardboard um, version of the logic dart. And um, you can actually turn it on. If I can hear, turn it on. There we go. <laughs> and uh, I think you can see that. Uh, the LEDs are actually. Uh, actually flashing on this thing. It actually has a circuit on the back. It, even though it's cardboard, it has a little uh, circuit here with a couple batteries. And I didn't show it last time because I didn't have any of the right batteries, so I, uh, I ordered some uh, LR41s. Um, anyway, I uh, needed two of those, and it has this little clicky button here that uh, turns it on and off. It has a little safety pin that you can wear it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why you want to do that. Um, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, demo pin, HP, www.hp.com slash info slash logic dart. Uh, it gets their phone numbers and stuff. So um, yeah, cute little thing. So, uh, so that's number three here, the demo pin. So it talks about uh, a waveform being available on... Um, this resistor here. Let me zoom in a bit. Um, there's a resistor. So uh, this end of the resistor, uh, we're supposed to get a uh, square wave, and on the other end of the resistor, we're supposed to get this uh, uh, shaped waveform here. Um, we also can measure the battery voltage of 1.4 and then the uh, 2.8 on the other one. That those combined. So I guess you can make some measurements on this device, and then there's a ground pin here. Okay, so that's three, four. So we're going to test. Okay, so we're going to test voltage. So we're going to um, let's put on the uh, ground pin here. Okay, ground's attached. Uh, I think I'm too close now. Okay, so ground's attached and it wants us to measure itself. And we get zero volts. Uh, the lighting is not not cooperating here. Let me, uh, let me move the camera so there's no glare. There, that's better. All right. So no glare. That's better. Okay, so uh, measure the ground pin, we get zero volts. Very nice. Um, we're going to measure this first battery, we get 1.55 volts. Um, very nice. And measure the... Uh, let's see, that's all it says to do here. Just measure that. We should get a red light and we should get zero volts. And measure this, we should get 1.34, 1.55, we have a brand new battery. I think this is a little higher voltage batteries anyway then ones they presently had. Okay, then the next thing we do is measure the second battery. And second battery gives us three volts. And it should give us a high, which it doesn't, but I'm on five volt CMOS, so let's change the system to um, how do you change this? Uh, don't oh, here we go. Uh, next. Uh, TTL. There we go. OK, 
Okay, so now we have TTL. So we have a, a low here, and we're over here. We get a high. Okay, so we have a high, 3.09 volts. Okay, um, the next thing we want to do is measure the top side of this resistor and it should be giving us uh, so you have to turn it on Where's the button? Okay, now it's going okay, this should be giving us some frequency okay, it says we should be getting 43.9, we're getting 44 kilohertz, perfect okay um, okay, let's see, that was four, five is waveform, so again, uh, monitoring this voltage, we hit auto scale, there we go, we have a nice uh, waveform, uh, now we're going to change cursors and measure uh, measure things fine okay that works uh, we can zoom zoom in zoom out okay I did that okay eight uh, continuous waveforms okay so we are going to press the shift and continuous and now this thing is running all the time so we are getting the square wave now if we um, move to the uh, lower part of the resistor here we should get a different we should get a different waveform ah there we are we're getting this little jaggy thing here um, and we saw that on the runt pulse thing we were looking at, but it, it's uh, like a, a three-step uh, uh, oscilloscope. And uh, that's what it shows here. It shows uh, that you're getting this little, these little three-steps things here. Okay, fine. Um, triggering. Uh, let's see. It says you want to set up um, positive or negative edges so you can say edge positive going it's uh, latching on that positive and uh, let's zoom in a bit so it's latching on that positive you can do edge negative now it's latching on a negative edge uh, very nice okay nine ten help okay uh, I don't think we really need the little cart for that any longer let's see uh, help is the help button and uh, tells you what page to go to for more information. Um, we can do the system thing. We already did that. Putting it back to TTL mode is the system and you can change things in the system. Um, you can do different uh, languages. English, international English. Uh, Deutsch, France, uh, Espanol, Italian. Okay. Um, all in one probe. We can do everything with this button, which is a uh, high low logic voltage and um, frequency timing. Oh, that th those are standard. Then when you push this button, you get into the resistive mode and the diode the diode check mode. I'm using the one probe. There you go. All right. I think that took us probably less than five minutes. But uh, yeah, such a cute little, uh, cute little card. A uh, little chip on board. A little epoxyed over uh, chip on board. Um, there's another resistor up at the top here. So it looks like there's two resistors. I don't see any capacitors. Uh, so just two resistors and uh, two batteries.